Hey friends, how's everybody doing tonight? Hey friends, how's everybody doing tonight? Well, we've had some troubles today with uh, this computer. Oh my goodness gracious. Holy smoke. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, let's get this rolling. A little bit different tonight in terms of what we're doing here. Well, a little bit different here, friends, tonight. Uh, had, have, I've had a ton of technical difficulties, and I can't believe how many difficulties we've had today. And uh, this has just been a rough one today. Holy smoke. Let me see if I can get anything going over here. Let's see here. Looks like we're streaming here. Can't really do any comments with this uh, sort of setup I have going on right now. And uh, okay, so first of all, hey friends, how you doing tonight? I hope everybody is doing well. Uh, we're coming to you a little bit differently tonight. Uh, I've had some major uh, trouble here. I had Microsoft updating its. Uh, operating system on this machine and so everything's sort of going wacko cracko on uh, trying to set everything here on the live stream I was like well maybe I'll do it on my phone to see if we can get this going uh, but uh, I think I got something sort of stitched together today uh, so we can get started and have some fun um, I, I was trying to figure out a, a great topic tonight for our sketching after hours I guess once this video is over, I'll go and put the, the uh, thumbnail, you know, uh, card on this and then post it out publicly. I can't see anybody's chat, unfortunately, so that's stinky, and that's the way it goes sometimes. But uh, I've been able to at least come to you to here. I didn't want to miss out on the live stream. This is our 80th live stream. Boom! It blows me up. 80 live streams. I can't believe we've already run through 80 live streams that's that's just amazing and that's all because of you good friends out there here on youtube watching supporting and helping me uh build this channel uh over a thousand you know subscribers strong and we continue to grow each and every week and uh super appreciate your your time hanging out with me and i had a whole curriculum uh you know, for today's sketching after hours session uh, put together, but I was going to do something a little different because I thought I was going to have to do this on my phone. So I had all my sort of traditional tools ready to go, uh, but we'll sort of convert it over here digitally and uh, work on the uh, sort of the, my Cintiq here as we're drawing and, and having some fun. So um, Enough of the technical difficulties, let's get on with the show. So again, my name is Paul Angeli and I am a live action storyboard artist. Uh, I created this channel to help folks like you out there uh, by sharing my journey and my processes of how I, I hone in and study and practice and execute my craft as a visual storyteller and storyboard artist. Um, this channel is made for folks like yourselves that are creative individuals. Uh, you might be somebody that's just starting off and like, how do I get into storyboarding? How do I get into visual storytelling? You know, what are the initial steps that I need to do? How, how do I get into to doing this? I want to tell my own stories or tell my own comics or I want to get into feature film or I want to get into a feature animation or a streaming animated show or a YouTube show or a music video. And how do I do this, Paul? How do I get into this stuff? And uh, so if that's something that you're super interested, this is the channel for you. And uh, if this is, uh, you know, you're somebody who's like, hey, listen, I want to level up my work. I want to get better at my craft. I want to get better as a storyboard artist, as a visual storyteller, whether it's for my comics or whatever it might be. This is also a channel for you as well. And then also the third 
category of folks I look at too is just somebody who's interested in the creative arts and somebody who wants to watch an artist work, have some fun doing these things. This channel is also for you. So I, I, I would just ask for you to subscribe to the channel. Uh, subscribe. Uh, I update to you three times a week. Be a part of the family here and be a part of this community of like-minded individuals uh, doing visual storytelling. So, um, like I said, this is the 80th live stream, and I didn't want to miss out on this one. I've had a ton of technical difficulties today, but uh, I want to make sure we can, I can reach you today, say hello, and uh, we're going to have sort of a fun topic. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go sort of old school animation style today in terms of uh, what we're doing, and uh, I'll share with you in a second uh, about what we're doing. But I come to you three times a week. Right now, uh, I'm scheduled to come to you right now on Mondays, Thursdays, and of course on Saturdays. So the way that the uh, programming throughout the week works is on Mondays, I do my storyboarding Mastering the Basics class with you. And on that basics classes is pretty much, these are the fundamentals, the how-to, the tutorials, um, sort of live demonstrations of how uh, you know, what are the skills that you need to have and, and, and hone in on those skills uh, to, to be able to tell your stories and uh, tell your, um, you, you know, and help you along with your journey. And uh, on Thursdays, nights like tonight, we do our sketching after hours session. And on the sketching after hours is just sort of a time for you to, to hone in and, you know, do your sketches and have some fun, you know. And, uh, you know, I, I've always spoken about my, uh, you know, uh, I think it's super important to have a sketchbook and be sketchbooking all the time and spending some serious time uh, drawing and, and learning and, and testing your skills and, you know, uh, either using this as a, as a journal type of um, aspect or whatever you might be and, you know, whether you're just practicing your character designs, you're practicing your storyboards, you're putting together your own IPs, uh, you're taking notes from you know art classes you're taking online or whatever it might be, um, having a good sketchbook. So nights like tonight are our nights to sort of hang out, sketch. It's sort of like your your happy hour. Just hang out with me, and uh, we're going to be doing uh, some sketching. So tonight's so it's going to be. It's going to be pretty fun. Uh, we're going to go over um, Hayao Miyazaki's type of work and style. I'm not going to go into Miyazaki, but I'm going to be using some of those, um, that style, you know, from, from you know, uh, films like uh, My Neighbor Totoro, uh, Ponyo, you know, uh, Kiki's Delivery Service, Spirited Away. We're going to sort of take that sort of style and practice our sketching for that. So if you like uh, uh, Japanese animation, this is sort of the day for that. And, uh, you know, I was I was going through some of my old sketchbooks and thinking some stuff that I thought that would be fun to do for our sketching after hours for tonight. I know uh, Ponyo was a, is a fan favorite here at this house, so uh, we're going to have some fun with that. And then, on, of course, on Saturdays, we have our uh, storyboard jam sessions. We've been having so many fun jam sessions, and uh, we've done all sorts of things from horror to action to, uh, you know, we, do, we did a sword fight last weekend, you know, having lots of fun. So like I said, this is the 80th live stream. So you got 80 live streams of about two hours each of content to, to go through. You know, um, I invite you to check out the library of content that's already out there for you that we've been producing for the last seven months. You know, um, either do it a la carte, pick out those topics that you want to work on. If you want to work on film language, maybe just, uh, you know, shots or working on composition or camera moves or those, you know, type of things or software type of things, you know, check out those videos. If you want to get into some of the tutorials, how to draw faces, female figure, male figure, those type of things, check out those. And uh, if you really want to sort of watch it all, pull all together in a storyboard uh, session, then go ahead and join the, uh, you know, watch the old uh, uh, storyboard jam sessions. So um, again, if you're enjoying the content that you're watching, please subscribe to the channel. Also, if you're gonna, you know, watch this video today, take a watch at it. If you're enjoying what you see, please drop a like and a quick little comment here on the channel. So again, I'm coming to you a little bit differently today, um, but like I said, I was having a, a bunch of tough difficulties trying to get this uh, channel up and running for today. I don't know what the heck was going on today, 
but uh, happy to come to you and uh, have some fun uh, with you tonight. So tonight we're going to be sort of using uh, Miyazaki's work as a sort of a, a kick point off for us to have some fun and, uh, you know, learn what we're doing and uh, how we can have some fun, uh, you know, doing our sketching and having fun with this. So, okay, let's, let me get my notes here and get that going. So, you know, I had a lot of, fun, you know, I, I think, I believe uh, my neighbor Totoro came out in, uh, I thought it was 1988, um, you know, it was directed in, in, by Miyazaki and uh, very cool stuff. And uh, I, I think it's been fun uh, to watch all these different uh, films and uh, get inspired. They're very, um, Miyazaki's films, it just, it, it's a, it's a different sense of animation. It, it, it gets you into the environment of nature, of, um, you know, uh, superstition, uh, you know, just uh, family dynamics, you know, um, friends, you know, uh, you know, uh, just, just questioning life. It's, it's deep, you know. And a lot of the Japanese animation, I just I just love it to, to, to watch it. It feels like you're transported to a, a different world, very different than the, seeing your typical uh, Disney film or what we see today, you know, um, whether it be Illumination or, or other uh, animations and uh, studios and creating that work. And, and there's just something magical about the work and the dedication to the craft and, and, and it has some of the some of the films look very um painterly and uh they they sort of wisp you away whether it's uh and, and uh, there's always children involved and friendship and you know siblings and you know uh question of morality and all all, all sorts of, of great things and if you haven't uh gotten into that type of animation i, I invite you to check it out you know like i said one of my favorites is uh you know that we, we watch here at the house all the time is ponyo uh, and, uh, you know, Ponyo, uh, becoming a real little girl, you know, of, of some sort of, uh, fish type girl or a guppy type girl. And eventually, uh, you know, uh, a little boy finds her at the, the seashore and, uh, you know, uh, she, she becomes human and, and there's magic and, and, you know, it's just, it's just pretty, so cool, you know, and, uh, I, I just think it's a, it's a fun thing to to, to watch and, and have fun with. Uh, we joke around here when we're eating ham because Ponyo loves ham. And, you know, those are some of the funny things that we do here at this house. But, uh, you know, some some great, some beautiful work. Uh, I think we uh, we started watching these, these films with our children. And uh, I, th I think the first one we saw was uh, My Neighbor Totoro. And just, you know... Uh, just interesting you know just to, to see that and, and the magic of that and, and you know it still holds you know very strong today in a lot of these different films you know whether it be kiki's delivery service spirited away uh so we're going to sort of take a take a look at some of this not to say the work but i'm going to use this sort of as inspiration as as we're doing our sketching today and i think it's important as an artist is to stretch yourself you know do things that you're uncomfortable with try different things and a lot of the um, storyboards and stuff i've been teaching a lot about is is been about live action those type of things and today we're going to sort of take a different direction today we're going to be focused on sort of animated uh you know shows you know animation a little bit more uh that sort of style kid friendly a little bit uh you know drawing some some children here and and just you know the, the, the you know opening up the world to them and, and stuff and, and having some fun so it's gonna be a little bit of fun a little bit different today uh and i uh, appreciate you stopping by i can't see anybody's uh since this isn't a set scheduled uh live stream and i finally got this working in time to hit our 11:45 uh, time frame for thursday night um i'm just sort of i can't see anything so um let, let me see if there's any way yeah, if you drop a comment, uh, you should be, I don't know if you'll be able to drop a comment into or something into the, I don't even know if you can do that because we're going live a little bit different here. Anyways, 
I was it's just hard to communicate. So I'm going to continue working and uh, hope you enjoy uh, what we're doing here and uh, having some fun. And uh, let me go to my other screen here, bring down little Polly and uh, bring up my Photoshop file here. Cool. So um, one of the things I always like doing when I'm working digitally is um, is throw a layer on here and just put a grayscale layer. I usually drop black on there like this. And then um, I go and just uh, lighten it up to maybe 10%. So it's not so bright. It's just... Uh, it uh, gets a little, little too bright for me in terms of uh, what I'm doing. And that's sort of the layering system I, I get on there. And then I'm going to grab my brush here. Let's uh, see what brush we have going on right now. Just a simple hard round brush. And let's do it out of like a four point. In terms of what we're doing. Okay. Cool. I really appreciate you guys jumping on and sort of hanging out with me tonight. So I just love the whimsical style. Let's see how this looks as we're drawn together. And having some fun. I, I just I like the creatures, you know. In terms of what they are, and there's a lot of magic and and stuff in. in uh, in Miyazaki's work and it's just it's it's if you're drawing for even though it's drawn for children it's a very adult work you know I mean it's adult concepts in terms of uh, the drawings and, and it's just so cool and I just like even like these little little creatures and even though they're so simple they have so much character to them and I just I, I like this stuff it's it's cool yeah because when I first started uh, professionally working I started off as a graphic designer and then got my start in animation before I started storyboarding and uh, I just love and I loved animation you know and we were talking about well Paul how did you teach your animate how did you teach yourself animation you didn't go to animation school or anything like that you know I started with that, uh, the book, you know, I, I think I've, I've shown it quite a few times, you know, I, my Bible, when I first got started, was the, uh, the Illusion of Life, you know, Disney's Illusion of Life, and uh, I think this book helped me out so much uh, to learn how to animate all your basic principles, uh, use that quite a bit. I used uh, Edward Muybridge's, uh, you know, photography, stop motion photography, in terms of he had animals moving and people moving and and just studying that and practicing that. And I think uh, another person's work I loved. Let me see here. That was one of, one of the books here. I thought it was. No, where is it? Oh, yeah. Oops. Trying to find it. Is uh, you know, there was another Disney story artist, and that was Bill Pete. And uh, you know, I studied a lot of his work, 
and uh, Bill Pete actually had a little storyboard book or a story of his life that was told in storyboards and if you see uh, his work I just loved his whimsical style too and it's just so cool and uh, I just you know it's very um, being out here in Pennsylvania you know you just sort of see these you know sort of Midwest countries you know type of type of folk and stuff like that and it just always inspired me I still use it today um, just just like the style and it you know you know also reminds me of Miyazaki's work too um, so okay back to the uh, the drawing here let's turn that off Boop. and uh, we're just drawing this little guy here and uh, just my own little style on it because it was like these little little dust bunny creatures you know and I just think they're so cool and uh, I just have sort of a pen and ink look to them As they were there and you sort of look at them they're, they're just cool as I'm sketching call him does bunny and what I liked is they had all different uh, different size ones too so oh, let me remove you huh it would be different sizes and They're just cool. Just the cool little fantastic creatures. Let's apply that there. Just cool. So, um, throw another layer in here somewhere. Okay. And then he always drew children all the time. And uh, what happened here, guys? lost my image there there we go I should pop that back again there we go turn up this layer come got that back again so you know and I just he always drew um, children and when I think of that Had like little
a little bit different style. The other thing that they, that uh, I think was cool in Miyazaki did he always had like a, a really um, just a painterly style to the work. It was very um, pastels and uh, sort of light in, in terms of the work. It was very um, Like I said, there's always pastel -y. You know, whether it be there was trees around or bushes or whatever it might be. It was just so you sort of So if you're looking at that work, it was just always sort of fantastic, you know. And if he was drawing a, a child's face, just stuff to, to practice. I'm just going to get a little bit thicker. Just got to set on point. Always had that.
sort of basic child's head shape and just And that's why it's always good to mix it up a little bit, try different styles, you know, and learn different. aspects of your work. What I liked about his work, he always had that, um, a little layer in there. Always had that. There's that rosy cheeks in terms of uh, the designs he, he was working on. And I know when he was doing his storyboards, Miyazaki did everything in like watercolor. It's just amazing to see. And it's just a little bit different way of working. And I think it's good to practice different styles that inspire you, you know. even if it's just a little bit of a sometimes I think like the eyebrow would be even higher.
We we'll also he had uh, what what I liked about uh, also just do another couple characters when I do a face on or something. I'll throw another image in there. And you could take this into your storyboards too. So when we're practicing these things. Uh, try to draw. When you're drawing children, you always have the the big head. The child is growing. You're learning how to draw children. You're always drawing the bigger heads, bigger eyes, bigger ears. As you're drawing. Oh, come on, Pen. Work with me. Why my pen doesn't want to work with me today? I'm pretty sure sensitivity. What's up with this pen? Holy oh, smoke. Is like I said, it's 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 good. To practice other styles.
you know, I'm just lightening up my brush to try to give that, that sort of watercolor sort of look. Just to practice. Just trying these different styles and sort of save on that too. I hope you're having fun with it and you're following along. And you know, I, I think that the, the main point of uh, the live stream that I'm trying to share tonight with you friends out there is to um, study other styles of art, study um, other artists that, that inspire you and use that to help you with your uh, your sketch sessions, your, your sketching after hours, working in your, in your sketchbooks and uh, have fun with it and explore. Maybe there's uh, an animated show that you enjoy, you know, and uh, whether it be a, a serialized show like, you know, another show that had just just beautiful, simple drawings and, and just really great palette of sort of, uh, you know, colors was Adventure Time. And uh, other shows had more painterly backgrounds like Gravity Falls or, you know, you, you see a lot of these uh, different feature animation and stuff. You know, I, I think all the... Uh, the uh, Toy Story movies always had a great color combination for what they're doing and uh, for for Woody and Buzz and uh, you know you have sort of the the um, the work here from Miyazaki just the, just the it, it's it's calm it's it's very natural very painterly um, there's a lot of fluid motion uh, and you have a lot of elements and you see that in uh, uh, like uh, Akira Kurosawa, Seven Samurai, even though it's a, you know action movie and sort of for you art you know film history buffs, you know just bringing in elements, the elements of wind, fire, water. Uh, I think it's uh, amazing to see Miyazaki uh, work with uh, environments and weather and. Uh, bring nature into uh, his style of animation and flow and uh, it uh, makes it very very interesting and very intriguing in stuff so we're over here drawing we're drawing some different sort of uh, Miyazaki um, let's draw one more uh, you know uh, little girl here and then let's get into the fantasy of uh, Miyazaki's work you know we look at uh, Totoro and other creatures and stuff like that but just having fun I'm just drawing with my own style you know using that as an influence uh, to have some uh, fun with the uh, Miyazaki style so I hope you're enjoying yourselves and I hope you're sketching in your sketchbooks uh, to help you uh, with uh, getting some good work done and uh, then like my main point is, is studying other uh, you know artists out there that uh, inspire you and in you know, putting that into your practice sketching as well. So if you're enjoying what you're watching, please consider subscribing to the channel. I appreciate the support. And if you're enjoying this particular video, throw a like down. Uh, I guess when I get to put it public, once this uh, live stream is done, uh, you can go ahead and drop a comment. I always appreciate hearing your comments. And I know a lot of people uh, have other places to be and other things to be doing. But if you're watching this on the replay, which I do appreciate those that uh, don't have time to join me tonight, but are joining me tomorrow and another day, uh, catching this on the replay. So thank you so much. Appreciate all the support, friends. Let's go back and uh, do some more drawing here. I'm going to take a sip of my drink. And... Uh, can continue going. I'm gonna draw um, one, one more, a couple more characters, and we'll just get into uh, just 
we've done quite a bit here. I think I think it's the same type of thing. It's just that head, and if you're drawing that shape of the head, just draw your line down, and even if it's a Just having those shapes down.
This character reminds me of like a Pippi Longstockings. Children's book there too. Infamous, uh, oops. Red cheeks. <laughs> Just having fun with that, having fun with that style. If you're enjoying yourself, again, uh, consider subscribing. Um, this is our sketching uh, after hour session tonight, and uh, right now we're sort of having fun and uh, studying a little bit of uh, uh, Miyazaki's work. And that's from either My Cousin Totoro or Kiki's Delivery Service or Ponyo. Lots of cool stuff. So we're just taking that style and, excuse me, and trying this in uh, all different types of ways there. So another thing too is uh, Miyazaki did uh, all sorts of fantastic creatures and and whether it be Totoro or whatever it might be, and uh, just some cool stuff, you know. And uh, you know, let's go ahead and, and and play around with some of that and sort of use some of those creatures and stuff so let me just grab all these little drawings we've done let's do those sketches right there and uh, turn those off and then let's draw some fantastic creatures we're always sort of earthy creatures as well, which is really cool. So, um, you know, we, we were always familiar with the, uh, let's run over there. We're always familiar with Totoro. You know, and I think Totoro just had a cool little place with the Let's just and I just think he just always created like. Fantastic. Oops. This pen has been acting funny tonight. Creatures.
And sometimes when you're working, I just sort of some sort of blue gray. And try different things when you're sketching too. You try, you know, maybe you just work on silhouette. Picking up that brush, get that shape down. Hope everybody's been having a good week and uh, getting some good art created this week. I know I've been quite busy this week myself. I think it's just Miyazaki had a fun, always had some really cool characters. The other thing too that he did, 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 did too, I liked, always liked it, is like, it was always like uh, happy, or if he was gonna do a big mouth. These are cool fantasy creatures.
just practicing the sketches and having fun. Let's do something a little different. Um, Start with a little bit of a silhouette. Using these aspects of Miyazaki's work. Some fun with this a little bit. Just thinking here. Do that back. I think a lot of Miyazaki's creatures and just work it just is of nature so if I'm drawing my own like tree man type of thing That's what I'm having fun with it right now. How do we have fun with that and just sort of take that?
This is taking a certain style and just doing your own thing with it, you know. Oops. It's not a file save. Cool. Having some fun. I always think you guys in Miyazaki's work too, they always had like a just big mouth creatures and lots of fish and uh So much better. Just having fun with this style of work.
you know, like I was saying, if you saw, watch a lot of Miyazaki's work, there's a lot of just, just nature. You know, in terms of the work and just coming up with your own style and having fun with it. And, you know, I hope this inspires you and, and this uh, helps you on your journey to, to, to stretch out your own uh, ideas and uh, goals here. Let's see, I'm trying to get that focus in here. Come on, focus. Focus is up close, but then as I come forward and go back, come on. Let's turn that back off again. That's okay. Um, it just gives you some uh, focus and uh, some inspiration to try some different stuff, you know, and uh, stretch you out a little bit. So I, I hope you're having fun. We're doing a little bit different today. We're doing a little bit more animation and, uh, you know, in terms of our, our drawing and and, and having fun with this, you know, um, and putting together your drawings, whether you're a comic artist or an animation artist or, a, you know, uh, working just a little bit different style today and then having different styles, you know, maybe you're working with a client or director and they say, hey, we want you to change up your style. We want you to do something like this. And, and uh, if, if somebody comes up to you and is like, hey, I, I want to see you do something like a Miyazaki or something like that. You know, maybe uh, you'd be able to do that. So uh, I, I think it's uh, pretty cool stuff here to, to be having fun and to ch challenge yourself with what you're doing. So cool. I'm going to do a few more drawings here, having fun with this. Okay, let's see here. What else are we going to draw here on uh, Miyazaki's work? Just sort of coming up with some fun stuff here and, you know, see what else we can do. And how, how can we take this into a, maybe a storyboard panel or something like that? Let's play around with this and uh, see what we can do. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, we've got a lot of drawings we've done so far. In a pretty short amount of time. Let's grab all these layers of these cr fantastic creatures. Create a new group. Let's call this creatures. You know, so we have the creatures. We had different children and sketches. Oh, we had the dust bunny guys. Yeah, that's cool. Now you sit there in, in your, um, let's find the drawings. I think it's, what's interesting too is they always have uh, respect for older folks, and seniors, your elders, in a lot of Miyazaki's work. Sometimes they're witches.
just having fun coming up with these other characters and seeing where we can push this. Just having fun and drawing these crazy characters right now. I hope you guys are having fun too. If you're enjoying yourself, uh, please subscribe and uh, you know drop drop something into the uh, the likes there. I appreciate that. Okay, let's see what else we're gonna draw. That's cool. A little bit different, you know, I'm just sort of not really using any reference, I'm just sort of going for it. And uh, let's call this witch. Turn that off. Yeah, I've got some different stuff here. Let's try some different characters here. So I'm drawing a character. You just sort of see that that, that shape.
just having fun here, just drawing just, just different characters that they were in that world. Of uh, Totoro or Spirited Away. Some sort of dungarees here. Like I was saying earlier, it's just it's fun to stretch yourself, stretch your style, stretch what you know how to do.
Just having fun here. Here's his little chicks. Having fun sketching away here. Let's paint our barn green. Cool, just having fun with this and drawing just sort of just different uh, sort of Japanese style with my style with uh, Miyazaki in terms of uh, what we're doing here. That's pretty cool. Just having fun with it. Throw a save on it. So I hope everybody's able to still join me. I know we were, I was having some uh, technical difficulties today, and I'm just happy everybody could sort of hang out, join in as uh, we're drawing and hanging out, and just appreciate you hanging out with me tonight. Uh, this is our 80th live stream. I'm just uh, happy I was able to still bring it to you, and uh, pretty cool stuff. Appreciate everybody watching with me right now. I wish I had the uh, chat going on but with this the way it had to work out tonight is I wasn't able to get the chat going but I'm glad we could sort of hang out so we've done a quite a quite a few drawings here quite a few sketches let's sort of pull this together for this little boy the chicken this is a little bit of the chicken we have the witch some creatures that we drew tonight we have all different uh, characters here little dust creatures it's pretty cool let's do let's do one more and I'll call it a night Crazy. Let's do some sort of oh, yeah, that's, another, that's another thing that's always like popular with Miyazaki's work. It's always like cats. Just sort of thinking out loud here.
Let's turn that back a little bit. having fun with that cool so we had a fun time tonight getting some ske sketches done we did this witch our goal tonight was to, to be inspired by uh, Hayao Miyazaki's work from Spirited Away or from Kiki's Delivery Service Ponyo or my neighbor Totoro and sort of, you know, do our thing with that particular style. Cool. Got the little boy with his chicken. That was fun. I did some uh, creatures. Did a lot of sketches today. Oh, yes. These guys here. Cool. Very cool. Okay, friends. We had a lot of fun tonight hanging out and uh, doing this live stream. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I, I hope. Uh, you know, this inspired you to uh, get into your sketchbook tonight and draw, you know, be inspired by other creators out there. And tonight we sort of focused on uh, Hayao Miyazaki's work, uh, like we talked about, and uh, using that sort of Japanese animation sort of style that, uh, uh, that, that uh, he created to, to Miyazaki's work to get you inspired uh, to draw uh, stretch yourself a little bit tonight. So I hope you had some uh, great fun tonight uh, watching. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that bell notification button so you can be notified the next time I have a live stream. And uh, when I post, and it lets you know and gets you warmed up over here. And again, if you did like this particular video, drop a like on it. Drop a comment. When you drop a comment in, it helps tell, tell the YouTube algorithm, hey, we want to see more work from Polly. We want him to talk more with us and share uh, some of his journey and processes with us. And uh, hopefully you were inspired today, like I said, to draw your own artwork. 
get going. You have a passion for visual storytelling. I want to help you get to where you want to go. And, uh, you know, it's always great to have a mentor out there cheering you on, rooting you on. I know you could do this. We need great storytellers out there uh, to tell the future stories, whether it be for feature film, animation, comics, whatever your, you know, uh, your visual storytelling medium is. Uh, I wish you the best. Have a great rest of the week. I look forward to seeing you on Saturday for our storyboard jam session. Till then, take care. I'll leave you with my uh, contact information over here at the end. But have a great night. Thanks again for joining me. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.